Hello guys, and welcome back. I'm not exactly sure why it started me past the hallway, but we'll take it, I guess. So this is the next test, <clears throat> and pressing buttons. Right, okay, so I am guessing I have to... Yep. It's starting out easy, but... Just remember, you need enough change in the mass to build up enough mechanical energy. Yes, I understand. Right. Maybe not. We jump. Okay, what happens if I just... Think of this highly complex piece of technology as a trampoline. A double bounce could help. Ah, thank you for the hint. I was too stupid to figure that out. There we go. Uh, and maybe I need that, so... Do you hear that? Something... Oh! There! I was hearing something whistling. So I guess when we jump past... We've got this. <clears throat> yeah, let's check this out. So, we can get some from over there. I guess with that one, but then it'll go into the destroying thing. We could send it over with this one. And it'll land here probably better but let's smash that window first okay so we have this at the it's ready time to spring into action yes I get it <laughs> I crack myself up I'm glad you do okay I hope this works! Ah! Wrong key! Damn it, I have to do that again. Okay. I was pressing, I always keep pressing E when I try to pick something up, which is fluffy, as we can see. So... No, 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 no! Don't fall down. Okay. That might be a problem. So I guess we have to do it one by one. No problem. Satisfying, isn't it? And I guess I'll have to go back so I can grab that one. Okay, okay, okay. Aren't you supposed to there whistle go. while you work? And grin and whatnot? And if I use this one, it'll just... Yeah. So, I have to use this one and... Oh! No! Oh. But I get it now. I get it now. I have to use both. Jump over with this one. Grab this, put it there, grab this, put it back there, jump back over, do the same thing again. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, that, there we go. One last time. Took me a little while to figure it out, but I'm quite proud of myself. I can be, ha I can be happy with that. So... <coughs> Sorry. I just had to burp there. One more. And I guess I can just jump over with this one. I just need one more. Whee! And there we go. There we go! Hooray! More hallways, more books, same books in the streaming. Henry. Henry to the eighth. That's a new one. Hmm. Stack of books. We can never read those unless they have. Nope. Nope. Okay. This is one of my past inventions, Joan the Jetpack. Worked just fine, except I had some serious trouble with the hover up feature. Somewhat flammable. Some might say incendiary. <laughs> Didn't. You probably never saw this invention. It was my hole digger. We called it Every Day I'm Shoveling. And by we, I mean Ike. It was a little too efficient. This was the first and last time I saw it. <laughs> So Oh. Good night, Muon. Muon, sorry. Good night, Muon. And I see this book way too often. There we go. One less of them. Damn it. Can't even destroy books properly. There we go. To kill what a mockingbird, away with you. To quark of Monte Cristo, away with you. And yeah, we see those books way too often. Anyway, hmm, yeah, what I was going to say was that I was thinking, yes, it's a strange thing. We have these like powers to switch dimensions, like, you know. From this is normal, we go to everything is a little bit lighter. Let's go back here, it's where it's not so bright. And we have the thing where everything goes a little bit, you know, heavier. And the way the game explain, explains it is that we are like shifting between dimensions and, you know, entering ourselves with this glove that we can see in it, but that we are wearing. We're going into these dimensions, you know, like boom, boom. But I'm wondering. If we're going into an alternate dimension, which the game says, how come that objects back, or not back just in this dimension, but in any other dimension, are attached to the same place? Like, if I go here in fluffy dimension, place this one here, it'll be the same position in this, in normal dimension. Which doesn't make sense. I mean, they would just be here, it, uh, like there in fluffy dimension, would be here in normal and in heavy dimension, but it isn't. So how come that we can move objects in another dimension and make them move in different dimensions as well? They could be quantum locked, but then that would ho pose a whole nother problem that this would have the same properties as in this dimension and in this dimension and the other two dimensions we haven't even discovered yet. So. How does that work? I mean, it would be a book that's at the same time heavy and light. Well, okay, I guess in, in normal dimension that would make sense, so that it's, uh, you know, neither heavy nor very light, but still, it would have the same problem when we're in Fluffy. It would be both heavy and not quite so heavy. But as we can see, it's very light. So how does that work? 
how... Anyway, I think I'm probably reading much too much into this. Just so. One can never be too safe. Pun, pun, pun. Didn't. Yeah. How do we get past this? Right. I was quite the champion at shot put during my years in college on the track and field team. Now this is a problem. <laughs> How do we go past this now? Oh, look there. They thought of that. Oh, that was that was easier than I thought. The electromagnetic microreactors, or electrobats if you're so inclined, will all require a conductive polycell. I also happen to be on the basketball team as well. You may want to try the lid as a backboard. What? Science ball. Ah, oh, it's a ball full of orange signs. Oops, no. Oh, okay, we need another one. Nice shot! Thank you. That's another deep pit over there. So how do we get to... Those... I guess I have to... Yeah, have to jump over there. I guess we have a dispenser over there too, so we can use that one. I wonder if that just outputs a save or polycell. Polycell! Well, first of all, smash the windows. Why? To get over there. What else? There we go. And. Nope. Once, once again, with feeling. That was loud. Damn it! No. Uh. Uh. Right there. Okay. Once. Again. That was way too far. <laughs> okay. So I guess I don't have to jump forward, or at least not that much. Oh sh- Hooped it! There we go. Ike, no! Oh well, I guess he's trans-dimensional, so it doesn't matter. Take this over here. Okay, why do I have to? Right. Oh. Oh. Okay. First of all, let's. Can I get over there? Well, in any case, it would be faster than walking. No. So I have to jump from the other side. So. Oh, let's take this. Get this here. I want to take get that one over there. More collectibles. So I see you found another blueprint set. Well, check back in the research and development lab when you have a spare moment. Well, if I ever get there. The thing is, I don't know exactly how to. Oh, return to the Great Hall. So I guess I'll have to choose a moment when we're past an autosave or something. Anyway, uh, yeah. How do we do this? I guess... Crate there? And poly here? So we can... Catch it while we're flying over? 